No matter how good of a person you are, how much faith you have, you'll never get to the place where negative thoughts don't come. Discouraging thoughts. Your dream is never going to come to pass. You'll never meet the right person. It would have happened by now. Thoughts of worry. The medical report's not good. Your child is off course. Business is slowing down. What are you going to do? The enemy's main tools are deception and lies. Your mind is the bullseye of his target. If he can control your thinking, he can control your life. You can't stop negative thoughts from coming, but here's the key. Just because a thought comes doesn't mean you have to think it. You control the doorway to your mind. You're in charge of what you give access to. That's why the scripture tells us to guard our minds. Be selective in what you allow in. If the thought is negative, discouraging, bring in worry, fear, do yourself a favor, don't let it in. It's not complicated. Don't dwell on it. Don't give it the time of day. But too often, when these negative thoughts come, we don't think twice. We just allow them access, go around worried, discouraged, intimidated. Start paying attention to what you're dwelling on. When discouraging thoughts come, nothing good is in your future. Why do you even have your hopes up? You're going to be disappointed again. Before you dwell on that, before you let it take root, ask yourself, where is this thought coming from? If it's not positive, hopeful, encouraging, it's not from God. That's the enemy doing what he does best, trying to plant negative seeds, fearful seeds, inferior seeds. God said here in Isaiah, if you'll keep your mind stayed on me, I will keep you in perfect peace. What is your mind stayed on? What are you dwelling on throughout the day? Well, Joel, have you watched the news? Interest rates going up, the recession, the stock market, I'm worried. Those are all valid thoughts. I'm not saying to deny reality. I'm saying be selective in what you dwell on. The right approach is yes, there's a lot of uncertainty. I don't know how it's all going to turn out, but God, I know you're my provider. Just as you take care of the birds of the air, feed and clothe them, you're going to take care of me. Instead of keeping your mind stayed on your problems, stayed on the news, stayed on doubt, stayed on worry, keep it stayed on what God promised you. Here's a simple principle. When a negative thought comes, erase it and replace it. It's not enough to just not think negative because once you dismiss it, once you make that decision, I'm not dwelling on that. I'm not letting that worry in. That's good. The problem is it'll come back in a few seconds. Once you erase the negative, replace it with a positive thought. Don't leave your mind empty. The thought comes, nothing good's in your future. Dismiss it. Don't give it the time of day. Then take the next step. Father, you promised the path of the righteous. My path is getting brighter and brighter. You said my latter days will be better than my former days. When the thoughts come, this problem's too big. The opposition too strong. You'll never get past it. You can let that play and live defeated, discouraged, intimidated, or you can replace it with what God says. Father, you said when the enemy comes against me one way, you would defeat them and cause them to flee seven different ways. And yes, this may be too big for me, but I know it's not too big for you. Or how about when these never lies come? Lies that tell you you'll never get well, never meet the right person, never get out of debt. Don't let that play in your mind. If you do, you're defeating yourself. That's keeping you from seeing God's favor. Erase it. That's the first step. Not dwelling on that anymore. Then take the next step and replace it. Father, thank you that what you started in my life, you will finish. What I'm up against is not permanent. I know this too shall pass.